everybody, and welcome back to my show, Vindication of the Rights of Women. My name is Mary Wilsoncraft, and today we will be pondering and discussing the societal views of women, and particularly how men see us as naturally inferior. Obviously, I do not hold this to be true, and I believe I've proven this fact otherwise by my own intellectual and a career, career successes. I believe women have been put at a disadvantage for countless generations and have been regarded as children their entire lives which I have faithfully stood up against throughout my own life. My sex, I hope, will excuse me if I treat them like rational creatures instead of flattering their fascinating graces and viewing them as if they were in a state of perpetual childhood and able to stand alone. We, particularly women, but men as well, need to actively make a change so that the future generations will not be subject to societal unfairness which we experience. Women should not only be domestically educated, but educated in schools like men, so that society itself can progress more effectively because we are responsible for raising the next generation. And whether or not this is justified is for another conversation. If the child's first and primary teacher, his mother, is disregarded and her education ignored, how can her students become successful as well? Well, that got a little deep pretty quickly, so we're going to move on to some questions from our audience. So either call in or text the number on your screen to get a chance to talk with me, ask some questions, or shout someone or a business out. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think we have a caller. Hello. 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 Hi. My name is JJ Russo, and I've been an avid viewer and fan of yours for a very, very long time. Today, however, I realize that our worldviews and opinions are so wildly opposed that I can no longer be one of your fans. With that said, I would like to now tell you some of my strongest held beliefs and get your opinion and a response to what I believe. Is that okay? First, I just want to say it makes me so sad to hear how opposed you are to my beliefs, but I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say. Okay, perfect. I would like to start off with the belief that women are inferior based on physicality and disposition. Well, I would argue that women are not naturally inferior, but rather educated from birth into dependence. And there is no way to prove or tell whether a woman is naturally inferior or not, because we are not given the same independence and trust and power and authority as men like you. Okay. How about the idea that women should only be educated in domestic subjects, because that is all they need and are useful for? Well, sir, you need to pay attention because I already have addressed this earlier in this segment. And I think that allowing women to better themselves will naturally better men as well, especially in the case of education. So make them free and they will quickly become wise and virtuous as men become more so. For the improvement must be mutual or the injustice which one half of the human race is obliged to submit to, retorting on their oppressors, the virtue of men will be worm eaten by the insect with whom he keeps under his feet, women. Well, women should never be in positions of authority. <laughs> this statement astounds me because of the ignorant, ignorance it displays at the implications of such rules. If women are not given the right and opportunity to have authority and power in areas not based on intellect, reason, or any other thing which is not based on beauty nor external values, then she is destined to be a shallow creature. If women are shallow and regarded as such, therefore, it is because they were forced to be, for they are taught from their infancy that beauty is a woman's scepter, and the mind shapes itself to the body, and roaming around its jilt cage only seeks to adorn its prison. What about the idea that women's original sin is based with Eve, and they are inherently lustful and prone to excess? I strongly disagree with this statement and actually believe that women's vices are due to oppression by men. For slaves and mobs have always gone to excesses in that way once they have been broken loose from authority. The bent bow straightens with violence when the hand that is forcibly holding it is suddenly released. Because we have been and are continually oppressed within our society, an inkling of freedom is likely and understandably the cause for us to lean towards excess. Well, okay, I think that is enough for this caller, but I would like to end this segment by putting in some personal reflections. As many of you know, I've had a strange history with long rom with <laughs> romantic partners. And one thing I've concluded about marriage particularly is 
that it is something which should be fundamentally based on equality and friendship, for there could be no respect and no possibility of love otherwise. Once we begin to practice this, the maturation and virtuous evolution of mankind begins in the home and then overflows into every aspect of society. And lastly, I would like to conclude with a call to action. For we have been experiencing an age of enlightenment for many decades now, but this needs to turn into an age of revolution. For there are so many problematic things within our society. Not only is there a major discrepancy between male and female individuals, there is also wildly inappropriate treatment of those of lower classes, particularly of other races. As my show, books, and other works have revealed, I'm very passionate against the fight about the fight against sexism and fighting for equal, equal opportunities for females, but I do not want to stop there. I believe my attraction to this movement is obviously because I myself have experienced these problematic issues firsthand, but it would be sinful to not use my platform to address other systematic issues which I have not experienced. For just because I'm a white female of a relatively high class, that does not mean I cannot or should not fight for those of other races, classes, and genders. So with all that being said, please join me next week as we explore first-hand accounts of slavery, classism, and more. Thanks for tuning in. This is Mary Wollstonecraft signing out. See you all next week at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you, and always remember the power you have for changing the world. Thank you.